stunning statements from a BYU professor tonight regarding 9-11. He thinks planes alone did not bring down the World Trade Center towers. Both towers collapsed in place after terrorist attacks. And later that day, World Trade Number 7, which was never hit by a plane, fell in less than seven seconds. Brian Malahi spoke to the professor today and joins us from the roof of the Wells Fargo Center. Uh, a crazy theory, Brian, or any validity to this? Well, Professor Stephen Jones got an email today asking, are you some kind of nutcase? And actually, he's written an academic paper for peer review. It's been well received, he says, among his colleagues at BYU. And it's essentially this. The buildings fell on September 11th, not from planes, but from explosives that were intentionally set. Images seared in our minds. We saw the planes hit, the explosions and fire so hot, fortress towers could not stand. Stephen Jones says, not so fast. They're sticking with this one hypothesis. It's almost they have blinders on. It's got to be fires and damage. Jones is a 20-year physics professor at BYU who's penned an academic paper raising another hypothesis. Explosives pre-positioned in the buildings. That's how it's uh, straight down. Especially intriguing to Jones, World Trade Center number 7. Damaged and ablaze from tower debris, but never hit by a plane. Symmetrically, now it doesn't topple over, as you might expect from what we call the second law of thermodynamics. <laughs> it comes straight down. This is the goal of uh, prepositioned explosives in a controlled demolition. If explosives detonated like these, if they did, it begs the question. Who set the explosives? Sure. And I try not to go there too much because we have to answer the first question first, the scientific issue first. We need to consider all options for uh, the collapse of these buildings. Let the chips fall where they may. <laughs> Jones says that models conducted in tests since 9-11 have not been able to duplicate what happened to the buildings. He is not saying that this is a proven theory. He says, in fact, that it's a hypothesis, but he wants a fresh, new, independent investigation. Mark, back to you. Definitely uh, something to think about, though, Brian. Yeah, All sure right. is. Thanks a lot.